What's up guys? Welcome to another third person thing. Today we're going to be talking about Westworld. It's a new series starting on HBO very soon, very very soon. I like how I'm not putting a time in there. Uh, with me as always are going to be my main mans. We got Mike. Yes sir. On that side. And we got Jesse on the other side. Am I still on the right. left side since? Oh, since you're always going to be on my. You're always going to be on my. Uh, what? I don't your, know. Anyway, yeah. what's up, guys? So we wanted to uh, just basically give you guys some information on Westworld. Let you guys know what that is. We've all uh, been doing our homework and figuring out what Westworld is. It was originally a 1973 uh, film, written and directed by Michael Crichton. So basically, God damn it! I'll start. Oh, right. hold on, ready. So basically what we wanted to do today is give you guys the, the info, the heads up, the 411 on what Westworld actually is. So Westworld is a series as inspired by the 1973 film of the same title, written and directed by Michael Crichton of Jurassic Park fame. And sure. basically this is the, the, the movie was about a futuristic park where humans can go and have live out any of their fantasies and the people that inhabit the park are androids so they're robots and you, you know you could have sex with them you could be king you could be queen you could kill them you could ride horses you could do yeah you could do whatever you want and what ends up happening is the 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 androids of the park go ballistic and start rogue. killing yeah they go rogue and they start killing everyone uh yeah. so that's basically that's what westworld is it's a it's a theme park gone wild so Written and directed by Michael Crichton, so obviously th that man loves his uh, his parks gone wrong. Scenario, yeah, that's yeah. true. That's right? true. That's his. That's his like favorite thing, his obviously. Yeah. And um, so yeah, so that so that's the basic premise of the show. We're excited because we're gonna be we're gonna be doing episodes of the of third person podcast on Westworld when it airs on HBO. So guys, I figured um. Let's just run through what you know. We went went over the basic premise of Westworld. Really cool premise. I'm glad they're making a series for it. Let, why don't we talk about the 1973 film? We've all watched it. Yeah. Um, and uh, so the, the 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 tagline for the 1973 film is a robot malfunction creates havoc and terror for unsuspecting vacationers at a futuristic adult themed amusement park. So yeah. that was the original tagline for the 1973 film, which starred Yul Brenner. Richard yep. Benjamin, James Brolin. Um, we had Norman Bartold, who um, I don't think he's that famous, but I'm sure we've seen him before. Um, Alan Oppenheimer as a cheap supervisor. Uh, <laughs> Victoria Shaw as the medieval queen. Don't know who the fuck that is, right? Um, and Dick Van before. Patten. The old yeah, he Van was Patten's the, the shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know? Uh, I was like, that guy looks so familiar. Like, I kept thinking he's from Spaceballs. Yeah, you know, he, was he, was, he, was, he played the um, the, uh, the, <laughs> the Abbott. king. The king yeah. of the Abbott. Oh, yeah. No, hey, no Abbott. Abbott, was in, was... Abbott was in... Um... Didn't he? Wait, I think he I think played the Abbott, and he's like, up? I hate that guy. Yeah, that, he, was the, he was the guy that married... That was in Men, of, Men in Tights, wasn't it? Oh, he played the Abbott in Men in Tights, yeah. And then he was the king, Vespa's king in father. Face, yeah, in Faceballs? Yeah. <laughs> in Spaceballs. <laughs> um... So, yeah, so it was just like we said. It was a 1973 <laughs> film, and, uh, and, then, and then after that, in, in the 1980s, they did a, it, was, it was a short-lived series called Beyond Westworld where the security chief of an android manufacturing company must stop a mad scientist who's sending the failed theme park's androids to infiltrate society for his own ends. And mm. that only ran for five episodes. <laughs> so very short-lived series. Apparently, the world wasn't ready for that. For that situation yet yeah. Yeah. um and uh and then and you know and then like in 1993 we get jurassic park so yeah. you know i think by then you know Crichton hit it big with that so uh before we get into the whole hbo series i mean let's let's just briefly talk about the the movie can we just start at the fact that james brolin looks exactly like christian bell or like could be his dad yeah right? definitely james brolin is whose dad again Josh Brolin from the Goonies and from um, he's Thanos and all right. sorts of other things. He looks he looks just. I like, think he looks like just like Josh. His Brolin. son, right? Yeah, who all look like Christian Bale. No, actually, that's funny. Josh doesn't look like Christian Bale, but his dad does. But what, yeah. what does Christian Bale have to do with it? He looks, he looks like so Christian much Bale. like him. 
Oh, you think so? Yeah, James Dude, Bourne looks like an older Christian Bale. Something like Christian Bale was like their son, and he just changed his name or something. I don't know. Nah. No, they're American. Nice. He's British. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I just, I thought he looked just like, you know, I thought he looked just like, like uh, Josh yeah. Cole. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, the film, the film was actually pretty good. I mean, okay, Michael Crichton, you're a great novelist, but I really don't think he's a great director. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the film had, the film, the film had, you know, some parts where it was like, all right, do we have to see this chase scene last for 10 minutes long? It was just the same shot over and over and over like when he was chasing him in the desert with the horse yeah. it was the same shot of him on the horse like every time that poor guy that was fixing the fixing the oh, fixing yeah. the, the tire get away from me get, <laughs> and get, he just gets popped. get away from me you son of a bitch yeah yeah but like you said earlier you said um before you said um uh i don't think that i don't think that the times were ready for that kind of uh an idea or the with the robots yeah, yeah, taking yeah. over yeah yeah I mean, I thought now is like one of the. I mean, even even as of like the last ten years or something, we've seen a lot more of these kind of cyborg uh, takeover kind of things. But you know, uh, obviously for this, you know, we all watched it. I thought it was actually. It's. A, I think it's a really really cool idea. Yeah. Which um, is. Yeah. Which and is it's cool why. how it, how the engineers and everybody were were watching them all do and and adapting. It's almost like a telltale game, you know. Depending on what choices you make depends on what circumstances they're gonna have to change and all that kind well, of like stuff. Like a live so, TV show, it was like a live broadcast, yeah. like but yeah, literally. Yeah, they were, yeah, they were just watching them and and uh, where they didn't choose to go out when they heard the gunshots going off, they went up with the girls. Yeah, that was. That was like, you think we should go? That? Yeah, you think we should go outside and you know and uh, and help them out or whatever? It was, it was cool. Although that although Richard Benjamin, his name was Peter Martin, was the character's name. He was like, yeah. he was annoying though, because he was like, "Oh, I'm so excited!" Then all of a sudden, he's like, "This is dumb." <laughs> it's like, and yeah. and his friends like, "Just go with it, man!" Like yeah. James Bond. Like, jeez. It's like God. Just dude. My favorite part is when Yul Brenner's uh, character, the gunslinger, first comes in and he like hits the guy, and then he's like, he's he's like he leans over, he's like, "Kill him!" <laughs> it's like hey, what? Like, yeah. It's like yeah. Yeah. Kill he's ordering him. some fruity drink, and the guy's like, "He just, we just drink whiskey, yeah. you know." And so then uh, he yeah. nudges him. Yeah, no, nah, I thought it was, and it's a really, really cool idea. A really cool about, idea. Let's talk about the tech real quick. All right, so you have you have guns. They're real guns, apparently, but there's sensors on them that if they sense, yeah, um, heat, they won't fire. So you could kill, you could shoot through the. It's like the stupidest thing. <laughs> no, but that's but that's actually but that's kind of pretty cool if you think about it. Like, that's Not, some tech I mean, that would happen now. Like that would be something that they could do now because of all the technology we have and the. Would you still trust technology shooting live bullets? That's the thing. Oh God, no! It? You saw it didn't work when the Android you got knew, a hold of it. You knew yeah. I, I, that's the first thing. As soon as as that's soon as the um, they they mentioned the live bullets. Yeah, but that's. The I was thing, like, that's you know? no good. But um, you know, and then when they were sword fighting. Yep. When him and uh, that was just stupid. Yeah, but you can tell it's like, I was thinking, I was thinking, what if you're, what if you're like a bitch? Like when they got into the bar fight, I know. say you don't yeah. fight, I so you're gonna get your ass each kicked. Other and like yeah, you're get your ass kicked shit. by the, yeah, you know what would you or or even even the sword fight part? I thought about that. Like the sword fight was going on for a while. So is that guy like trained and had a sword fight? You know, because no. he was doing a decent job for a while. Like, so what would you do? You know, yeah, if the guy were, comes after you with a sword it. fight? You're, that's that's the whole point. And then obviously that was the point where they, it, you yeah, know, they're trained, trained, but they're programmed to not kill you, kill and you. to make you be yeah. look good, look good, be the hero. I guess, and everything. Right? So I mean, I the, guess. the concept is just. I, I really enjoyed the concept, and and some yeah, of the too. ideas were executed really well, and and the uh, special effects for the time, you know. Although I got to tell you, showing like waveforms and and like in like cr rudimentary three D objects, like just pa panning past the monitor, like show like yeah. high tech and and like yeah. all the you know like yeah, the hard the drives in the back, spinning the spinning and, and, yeah. and all the yeah. all the flashy lights. Like I never understood yeah. that. Like eat, like if you watch like the old Battlestar Galactica and like all that shit, it's like what is that even for? <laughs> like. It does. Oh, it looks futuristic. That's what I'm saying. Is that what people thought? You know, and now it's like, look, look, yeah, this is, it's all buttons. right here. It's all in this little box, you know, this little thing. Yeah. So, but it was, like, it was cool. Oh, uh, that was I know, cool. Yeah. You turn your phone and it's just lights blinking. You're like, wow, it's really high tech and, shit. Oh, and shapes. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So I, I, but, but like we said, it, 
for the time, it was really cool. The, the idea, and, and, and honestly, I think the idea still holds up. I think, oh, hell yeah. I think it you ages know, pretty well, that movie, to be honest I with you. I think that maybe they would, they, it would probably, well, I guess we'll soon, we'll see how, how this HBO series uh, ends up, but I think it would have been cool if they did a movie. Well, you know what? Here's and and why don't we get? Why don't we just go right to the to the? Yeah, let's um, go right. Let's yeah. go to the series. So I think we've. I think we. Anything else, Jess? You want to add about the movie or anything? Uh, no. I mean, there was a whole bunch of stuff we could talk about, but go check out the movie. It's it's well, an, it's a fun movie. It's not really that long. It's only like an hour, maybe like forty minutes or so. Forty eight minutes. Like an hour, like forty minutes. No, hour, 40 yeah. minutes uh, not like. a very long movie. Um, it was it was it was very fun, especially if you plan on watching Westworld. So let's jump into the into the the series. And before we get into the the meat of it, let me just, you know, I'll tell you who's in it. So we have Anthony Hopkins, who's playing Dr. Robert Ford. Not, don't, this is the new character, or they named him. Ed Harris is taking up the role of the gunslinger, and in this show they're calling him the man in black. Then you have Evan yeah. Rachel Wood plays Dolores Abernathy. Then you have James Marsden right. is in it, and I like, I like James Marsden, I think. And, 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 and I don't know, I, I, liked, I liked that he was in this. So I like seeing him in that. And his name is Teddy Flood. No idea who that is. And then you have Fandy Newton who plays uh, Maeve Millay. Um, I believe that Fandy Newton and Evan Rachel Wood are both what they call in this show hosts. That's who they're calling these androids. They call them hosts in the show. So okay. I yeah. think that is, I think, I think those, I think they're both hosts in there. And um, so, yeah, so obviously, so Mike, back to your point about, about doing a movie since they've already yeah. done the movie. I mean, this is obviously an idea that, if done right, can be expanded and made into something bigger and explore more of the whole idea of humans playing God. And and and, yeah. I, and if, you know, watching all the trailers, and we're not going to necessarily break down any of the trailers, but we've checked out all the trailers, the three of us, and, you know, the, the impression that I think we're all getting is the fact that you have this, this Dr. Anthony Hopkins, you know, he set out, he created it says in one of the trailers or multiple trailers that he's created this world every inch of it by hand. Like he's handcrafted yeah. this. And, you know, we don't know too much about the tech behind the androids and stuff, but there were some shots in these trailers where you see them testing them out in those glass cubes, testing out a gun, like a gunfighter, testing out the horse. Remember? And I, and, and I yeah. got really excited by that. Cause I'm like, that's really cool. Like we're getting to see like the behind the scenes of, how they created this world. Um, yeah, unlike the movie, which we it was already in in operation. Which is great because they didn't have yeah. to go into this whole, you know. And the one thing about the movie that was fun was that things just kept going wrong, and nobody could f explain it or figure it out, and they didn't even try. It just happened, and then done. And yeah. that's why. But see, that's Michael Crichton. He's a good writer. That's why it yeah. works. That's why Jurassic Park works, because it you know it just those things. So. So the show, I'm really excited personally for that sh for the for the HBO series. Yeah, episodes. definitely. After watching the, sh the 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 movie, um, it definitely has me because before before you know before we decided that we were going to get into into Westworld, I you know I didn't I don't really didn't know much about it uh, right. to begin with. So after watching the movie, I mean, and the movie was entertaining. And I said I think the biggest part of the of of Westworld was just the idea. It's just a really cool idea. It's a idea. great idea, yeah. Yeah. You know, that you can just go out in there and and um and just be dropped in a world that happened hundreds of years ago, you know, um which uh that's why now, you know, after watching that I'm excited uh to check it out. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Jess, you got anything anything you uh about the new series? I I'm just excited to see Anthony Hopkins do stuff again, Mike. <laughs> and I hope that this role is something that's deserving of his acting. Oh, he's badass. Yeah, I mean, to yeah. get him, they got some good actors. Oh, yeah, yeah. they they oh, absolutely do. Ed Harris is, is... Yeah, Ed Harris is great. Yeah. Because... Um, you know, <laughs> for Yul Brenner from the first, Right off the bat, you knew that dude was going to yeah. be bad news. Yeah. You know, they picked, I mean... He was he was uh, he was he was pretty badass. Yeah, and I know, think so. I think Ed Harris is going to do it justice. But I I had a um, I have a thought about the Ed Harris character, and obviously he's playing the Yul Brynner gunslinger yeah. character. Um, but I think, from what I gather from these trailers, is that his character. We're going to get more from him. We're going to get some speaking from him. We're going to get more insight as to why, the androids are doing what they're doing. And and there was something he said in the trailer in one of the trailers that where he 
where he talked about, you know, I guess like them and, and, and why they're there or something like that. And I don't have the exact quote, but I, I get the feeling that he's going to end up providing the audience with the exposition as to why they're doing that. And, oh, and he's going to also be the catalyst. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. when they start going wonky and or start turning on guests or their makers and stuff, I think it's going to be because of him. Uh, which is something in the original movie we kind of got a little bit maybe if you if you if you read between the lines where the where he just kept coming back and just kept trying to kill those two guys, like he just didn't care. He just wanted those two guys. We didn't know why or nothing like that. So I think um, I think the Ed Harris character, you know, because again Ed Harris, I put Ed Harris up there with Anthony Hopkins because. That guy's amazing. He he's a really good actor. The roles he takes are just like he. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't call him method, but he's up there, man. Like he's yeah. got some chops. Like you, yeah. you listen to what that guy says, regardless. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's got one of the best voices. You oh know, yeah, he's and he's Anthony so imposing, Hopkins. and he's gotten older looking yeah. now, and he's getting a little frail and a little jowly, yeah. but he is still like. If I met him, I'd yeah. be like, sir, sir, uh, sir. I'd bow and like you know. Yeah. He's he's imposing. So they didn't give us too much. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, but I think, but um, I mean, that's my prediction. Uh, my my main prediction. Um, it's going to be the whole. Obviously, should should g- humans play God, and, and what would that mean to you know, especially in a recreational capacity, you know, yeah. like we've they, seen that. You know, I also think there might be more than that. Like maybe this was created not just for recreation. Like it might be like Anthony Hopkins was like, well, I didn't just make this for people to have fun with. There's a reason, you know. So there's obviously, and, and knowing it's an HBO series, there's obviously going to be something bigger, which is which is I'm and excited a budget. for. I mean, I'm, I'm 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 big big budget. It's a big. I'm I'm really excited to have it have that idea expanded. The movie was perfect. Yeah was awesome and is a great snapshot for that idea uh, and now we get to see it blown out and, and I'm, I'm you know uh, so I'm excited was there anything else that you guys any predictions that you guys have about where the series could possibly go well being HBO you know there's going to be gratuitous violence a mm-hmm. whole lot of sex scenes yep uh, yep there's going to be probably more cursing than you can count on one finger awesome definitely yeah and there's just going to be total mayhem if it comes to a battle scene so yeah, mm. yeah that's agree. what you can expect from hbo yeah i agree and jj abrams oh that's true oh we never yeah, mentioned that true. yeah i'm sorry we didn't mention yeah. that it's produced by yeah, um, one of producers jj abrams yeah so you know you know he, he puts his name on 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 good stuff so uh mikey anything yep. else any uh last little... um no i mean not really anything crazy like i said they didn't really give us much from the trailer unless you know you really um know of the movie you can really you know get uh from the hbo yeah, trailer but a little here and there yeah yeah you can kind of you know you get that that basic premise but um i guess we'll see uh from you know obviously it took some time from the movie from 1973 for them to start acting a certain way and being uncontrollable so if we're seeing from the beginning maybe we're going to see a lot more happiness and a lot more people going through no problem i don't think we're necessarily going to see any kind of problems right off the bat yeah no, no, it looked like Ed Harris was hanging somebody at one point. Yeah, but then again, we're was it was it staged? From... Was it a robot? Yeah, don't that forget, he was hanging there, you know, or something. there's a lot. It could be a lot of uh, staged things going on. And... I mean, if you think that they're gonna have issues right off the bat from say the first arrival of the first well, customers, no, then no. it's not gonna happen. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So we're gonna well, see probably a building of the, um, a building up of the of the place and right. get that credibility and get the popularity out there because let me you know number one they mentioned it it's for the wealthy people they, they even mentioned on the show it was like a thousand dollars in the a movie night. it was a thousand dollars a day which yeah, today yeah. would end up being what like around probably ten thousand dollars oh day, it'd be crazy it'd know? be crazy and they were vast they were big worlds yeah. you know it was a long travel when he was getting chased at the end of the movie uh before he ended up into uh roman times whatever that was yeah so yeah, I mean, nothing really much more crazy than that. Just check it out, because after watching the movie, it really makes me want to check out the series. Yeah, you know, But that's basically, you know, what I think, is that it'll eventually, it'll gradually get to um, the, the scariness. Or maybe there'll be some episodes for a while, you know, when, when, um, when the sheriff, or, I mean, not, not the, what's his name, Ed Harris, uh, you know, there'll be some episodes before we start seeing him. Maybe. Uh, yeah. That, well, mean, they just said in the beginning there was minor thing. glitches. What's okay. that? Yeah. 
in the beginning uh, in the movie they said, yeah, like the first six like months six, we had minor yeah, glitches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was or, a, you know that's yeah. still a significant amount. And also James Brolin's character said he was there before. He was there a couple times yeah. already, right? Yeah. So yeah. so uh, yeah, no, I mean, so it looks really cool. Uh, everybody, check it out. You know, thanks for checking out this because we're gonna definitely be doing um, you know. Uh, the re- reaction reviews uh, on Westworld. So yeah, check it out. There's the other question. One another, uh, a last question too. You brought up when we were um, off camera. Is is it going to be just Westworld, or is it going to show the Roman yeah, world right. and right. the uh, and medieval in the medieval world? I mean, I would love to see those. Uh, I I don't know. It kind of looked like again yeah. they were only showing Westworld because it had that big 3D map. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I don't know. It might just be. So that, that's another question. So there are obviously a lot of questions that we have and a lot of, um, you know, things that are going to have to be answered. But we're all looking forward to it. If it's going to be good, uh, I hope we gave you guys a little insight into what this is going to be. Thanks for listening to us ramble about it. But as you can tell, we're excited. This is going to be something cool. And, um, yeah, it'll be our second show we're doing on this channel. And, you know, two of many. Right, guys? So. Absolutely. Uh, we'll if you guys soon too. Yeah, if you guys want to check out more, go, obviously go to hbo.com uh, and check it out, or you can go to a website called discoverwestworld.com. I believe that is that the one, and it can. I can, believe so. And you can sign up for like I signed up for like an email, and they can like give you information. And then uh, I don't know if you noticed, Jess, but up on the top left right hand corner, there's a little thing that says access, and when you click it, you can input something. So I've been trying to see if there's like a code somewhere that you get in an email or something that you could put up there and it like oh it opens up access to the website or something you know so i could check it out i think it's discoverwestworld.com uh you can uh, go double check that website for you real quick okay and in the meantime while he's doing that you could also as you can see at the bottom of the screen there you can check us out at third person pod on all of those places down there you can check us out uh, if you're watching us on youtube thank you very much if you're hearing us on soundcloud thank you very much and it's yeah. discoverwestworld.com. Discoverwestworld.com. So go check that out. Uh, get a handle, uh, get a hold of us on any of those things down there. Uh, please go watch our Fear the Walking Dead episodes. We're getting close to the end of that season at this point, and we're getting closer to The Walking Dead, so it should be fun. And if you're watching this after all that's been premiered already, and it's a long time since, well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and hope you enjoy Westworld, and uh, I guess that'll do it for us, right? Sayonara. Uh, Absolutely. Alrighty. So, we'll see you later, guys. Peace out. Goodbye.